Hi, this is Mark Berkey with Berkey Academy, and in this video what we're going to do is learn how to use a GIS program to calculate the centroids or the centers of mass of an area, and we'll look and see how that's different from the center. Um, so we're going to calculate the centroids for a shape file that doesn't have centroids already in the file and we're going to make a shape file displaying those centroids and then we're going to export the longitude and latitudes out so that we can use them with a different program in the future. So if you're new to Berkey Academy, let me show you real quickly about this series. If you go to spatial.berkeyacademy.com then you can download the free GIS program map window right here and you can download the world map we'll be using here if you want to follow along to make sure that you know how to do it. So there's not a whole lot to this so let's, let's go ahead and get started. When you open up map window it has this little startup window I just usually close it because whenever I uh, add layers or map layers to the, to the uh, program I usually click the little add button right here with the green and the white uh, plus sign on it. So click add and if you've downloaded that zip file with the world map one of the files here will be uh, NE110M admin zero counties lakes dot SHP. That's the shape file one of many files that makes up a map and this is a map of the world here. Now if we want uh, to instead of having the shapes, if we want to just know where the center of each country is, um, remember uh, if you've done this before, right click on this and you can go to Attribute Table Editor. Some of the maps we've been working with have that longitude and latitude of the center already in the file. This one doesn't. It has a lot of information about uh, region of the world and um, income type and things like that, population estimates, but it doesn't have those centers in there. So let's go ahead and calculate those. Let's close this attribute file. Uh, what we've normally been working with so far is the layers um, part of the, the window here. Click on the little tab called toolbox. That's what we'll be using. And uh, this, these are a lot of tools we can use. The one we want is uh, under the folder called Ve Vector Operations Standard Create Centroids. So if we double click on this Create Centroids tool, a little uh, window dialog opens up. First it wants to know what which of those fields, those attribute fields we were just looking at, do we want to copy to the new shape file? What this is going to do is create a new map file or shape file with its associated DBF and other files along with it. Um, and when it creates this new map file with points instead of areas like we're seeing here, do we want to copy some of this other data to it? I don't really care. I don't want to, but let's suppose we do. You might at least want to have some identifying fields, like what's the name of the country that this point goes with, etc. Uh, so let's, um, I don't know, click some of these at random. Okay, well. Um, now, we have another choice here that's interesting. Do we want to use the centroid or the center? The centroid is the center of mass. Uh, the center, what it looks like the program does, is just calculate the average of the extreme values of the x uh, and the average of the extreme values of the y. We'll calculate this both ways and look at the differences so I can show you what, what I'm talking about here. Let's use centroid first and let's give it a, a file name. It suggests a file name where it just adds centroids one to the name and then add to map. Great. So let's just click OK and it does that in no time. Now let's do it the other way. Double click. Eh, let's click a couple of these fields. Sure, I'm having to double click to get those check marks. And let's use center instead of centroid and I'll show you the difference between these two. So it just created two different uh, shape files. So let's go back to layers. Um, one of these it called uh, Centroids 1, the other Centroids 2. Um, Centroids 1, the blue ones, here let me, uh, let me use a different color here. Let me use red 
for the centers and green for the centroids. And let's zoom in here to a couple of different countries so we can see those differences. Uh, there are a couple of countries in Africa where I think we can see this distinction most clearly. So let's zoom in here. Let's look at this country. Let's identify what it is here. Let's see. Okay, this is, um, whoop, oh, I wanted to do this one. Cameroon. Okay, so Cameroon here, look, it's, it's kind of got most of its mass down on the bottom and very skinny up on the top. And uh, the centroid is going to be pulled down toward the bottom with that center of mass. The center is going to be uh, higher because I think it's just taking the, the high end and the low end and averaging. Same thing, the far extreme left, far extreme right, and averaging. So you get a center point, but it doesn't take into account that most of the, most of the country is in the south. Uh, I would recommend using centroids. Most, most people in GIS and geography would probably prefer that. So how are we going to export um, these points here? Um, I selected that point, so I want to first um, clear that selection. So I'm going to click here, um, View, Clear Selection of All Layers. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because sometimes when you export uh, data, as we did once before, it will only export the selections. Um, if you want to export uh, these to a different file, you want to use one of the plugins called Spatial Converter. So make sure that's activated if it's not. And when it's activated, we'll have a little... Um, submenu here called Spatial Converter. We want to export from a shapefile. Now we could export this directly to an Excel file. Sometimes I'm getting errors in Map Window when I do that. Let's be safe and let's export to a comma separated values file or a text file. And it says what shapefile do we want to export? So let's select the um, uh, NE110N Lake Centroids 1.shp and click export and it asks us for a file name so let's just call it World Centroids here save and it saved that in our um, folder where we had that shapefile right here it says World Centroids.csv Let's double click it and that'll open it up in Excel for us. And uh, an interesting thing, it didn't make a comma separated values file. It separates the fields with uh, semicolons. No problem. To uh, split this into different fields, click uh, column A and only column A. So select all of column A and go to data, text to columns and delimited is what we want to select next and click the little box that says semicolon and finish and now we have and for some reason we have two copies of the, the longitude and latitude and remember the longitude is x and the latitude is y um, it gave us two copies i don't know why but that's okay um, now we know how to take a shape file calculate the longitude and latitude centroids and export them in a text file that we can use in another uh, program. So this is Berkey Academy signing off. Good luck. As always, if you have questions or problems, feel free to contact me at spatial.berkeyacademy.com and I'll try to help you if I can. Good luck with your data.